It was a surprising partnership from the start. The city of Philadelphia entrusting a 22-year-old grad student with a plan to get lots of people vaccinated quickly. It's really the health department here who's giving us a shot. Now the city says it made a mistake. In retrospect, uh, we wish we hadn't worked with that organization. Among the accusations, Andre DeRoshan took the vaccine home and personally vaccinated his friends. Did you take extra vaccines home with you? Yeah, but I would like to tell you the whole story. DeRoshan says four doses were left over after a mass vaccination clinic last Saturday. You vaccinated your friends, young people. Why not find someone who is in an at-risk group to vaccinate? There are grandmothers, there are grandfathers, there are people all across this country that are that can't get this vaccine. And they we did that. The Stephanie, we called. The doses were about to expire. We called everybody we knew. Every single person. Are you qualified to give a vaccine? I am not a nurse. I have undergone our internal certifications. But Andre, you're not qualified, right? No. He says he didn't want the vaccine to go to waste. I stand by that decision. I understand that I made that mistake. That is my mistake to carry for the rest of my life. But it is not the mistake of the organization. The accusations of vaccine misuse surfaced after the city alleged the organization abruptly shut down testing clinics, did not reveal it was becoming a for-profit business, and that it updated its privacy policy, potentially allowing personal data to be sold. DeRoshan told me they never sold anyone's data and that the privacy policy posted was a mistake. The district attorney says the allegations raise serious concerns. If your point is that you have come here during a pandemic to do good work for people and to help people, then that's not what it looks like. Right, exactly. We and first met DeRoshan when his thing. vaccination yeah, clinic launched at the Pennsylvania Convention Center three weeks ago. They would go on to vaccinate nearly 7,000 people. We took the entire model and just threw it out the window. And we said to hell with all of that. We're going to completely build a new model. Now, healthcare worker Stacia Syak, who was overwhelmed with relief getting the vaccine that day, worries she won't be able to get the critical second dose. And my coworkers and I have been discussing it. We all feel that same way. We just feel kind of betrayed. And it's a shame. It's just, it's so frustrating. On this issue of profitability, DeRoshan says that they wanted to start billing insurance companies because it was too expensive to run these vaccination clinics and the donations they were getting were just not enough. Savannah? Well, Stephanie, you talked to the DA there, which raises, of course, the question, there, could there be criminal charges here? Well, the district attorney wouldn't say whether there is an investigation underway. DeRoshan says he has an attorney and he's concerned, but he also added that he believes he did the right thing. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.